Thank you very much. Room 218. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Got you where I want you at last. I've got bruises, Dempsey, not brain damage. Thank you. You like them? They're different. Yeah? They're plastic. Right. Well, I belong to the pro-flower movement, and we believe that uh, flowers have a right to live like everybody else. How you doing? Fine. Did you get him? Oh, yeah. Only his room was not as nice as yours. You know, I was worried about you, partner. I thought you were a goner. I misjudged it. I didn't move fast enough. That's true. You don't have to agree, Dempsey. Hey, look, I don't want to hit you while you're down. But you're going to anyway. Well, if you were a man, we would have nailed him. You wouldn't be laying here feeding on grapes. Do you know, it has been known for men to make mistakes, too. If I was with a man, he wouldn't have been dressed as a meter maid. Your dress was too tight, you couldn't move, and the jacket got in the way. And women aren't cut out for this kind of work. Yeah, and women aren't cut out for this kind of work. That's right. And any man is? We got a damn sight better chance, sweetheart. Evolution. Six million years of it. Okay. You know what you can do with these? Why, Lady make peace, I am shocked. Put them back where you found them on your way out.
You know, if that pipe had been a couple of feet higher, you wouldn't be pointing that aristocratic nose up at anybody. Think about that, Sergeant. Hello? Yes, thank you, Wilkins. He'll be right down. The car's here. Ah, and that's the only trouble with Wilkins. He's too damn punctual. Hey, what you got there? Hmm? Guess. Is it? From my lawyers. Please to inform me that your divorce becomes absolute within three months. Oh, honey, what great news. <laughs> yeah. mm. Marty. Marty. You'll keep the Prime Minister waiting. You know what? I love you. And I'm going to marry you. I'll be back from Zurich on Friday. Don't you make any plans. Morning, Wilkins. Morning, sir. Uh, Downing Street, then onto the airport, please. Right, you on, sir. Thank you. Since you were sick. I wasn't sick. I was injured. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. I figured I'd give you a ride home. I'm not going home. Wherever. Getting in and out. Thank you, I will. And how are you feeling? The doctor said fit for duty. What does he know? Wilkins, just pull over here a minute, will you? After the airport, would you take some flowers back to where you picked me up? Be glad to, sir. Morning. Ah, uh, these look nice. I'll have um, about five bunches of tulips and uh, the same with this. I'm sorry, I can't change that. I'm afraid it's all I have. The bank's over there. They'll change it. the draw. Ah! Oh, only. The quicker you do it, the quicker we're gone. This is 5.03. Get me the police. Now you'll be a nice lad, won't you? Eh? <laughs> Come on, move. No bells, no buzzers. Come on, move. Control to Charlie 5. Control to Charlie 5. Vanguard Bank, King's Cross. Robbery in progress. Priority. That's us. 
Next right. We don't have to take that. What? Well, you're hardly back on duty. It's your first day out of the hospital. What are you, Jonah Ark? Charlie Five on the way out. There. What's that with her? Please, my mother. She needs a medicine. Still. <laughs> Won't be long, Ma. We'll soon be on our way. How much you pay for this? It was a present. Yank, eh? Well, it's a present to me now, Rockefeller. Redistribution of wealth. Long live the revolution, eh? Stay in the car. What do you mean, stay in the car? You just got out of the hospital. Stay in the car. And I will. Hold in there, sir. Is there any sign of movement? No exit at all. No, no reports. They're still in there. Still in there, sir. Now keep your heads down, right? <sighs> right, ready? Let's go. Trucks, Martin. All works. There's some kids in there. And these guys are preparing for World War III. Pretty soon there'll be satellite link ups and they'll be signing us up for the movie rights. Oh, why don't we storm in there, Dempsey? Break in the window and wipe them out. It's not a bad idea. Thought you might say that. Tony, I got a better one. Cover me. Dempsey, I'm not going to your funeral on principle. Okay, one minute. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Easy. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Easy. Now, look, we, we could have a problem here, but if we talk, maybe we can avoid it. You know what I mean? Now, these guys out here, they're not too bright. You know? Know what I mean? They're a little fast on the trigger. We got hostages. Don't say that. You haven't got hostages yet, man. You've got innocent bystanders. I did not hear hostages, okay? Well, what you got to say then? They got men trained for this sort of thing. They got smoke bombs, they got stun grenades, they got machine guns, they got horrors you can't even imagine. What they don't have is much to do. So they get an opportunity like this. You catch my drift? Now, maybe we can cool it before it gets too heavy, huh? So... I see we have everything under control here. Cut it out. What's going on? Why don't you ask them? They know everything. A case of too many Indians and not enough chiefs. Well, I'll tell you something neither of you know. Inside that bank is one James Martin. President of the International Finance Federation? Mm hmm So what? Who's he? He's what he sounds like. Big. Which is why I'm here. You with this lot? Inside. Excuse me, ma'am. May I help you? 
Chief Superintendent Spikings. By the powers invested in me, I am commandeering these premises for police activity. You were, are you? You run this place? Yes. Switch that noise off. Switch it off. And get your friend away from the window. Get her out. Anything else? You know, you'd make a much better impression if you said please. Do it. I'm very sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm very sorry. I'll come back tomorrow and I will fix it for you. Free of charge, of course. I'm awfully sorry. Get me the telephone number of the bank, Chaz. Telephone directory. Do you have one? We know how many are in there. Two or maybe three. Uh -huh. So what are the orders, sir? Yeah, what do you want us to do? Standard policy in a kidnap or hijack situation is no surrender. Equally, the lives of the hostages are of primary concern. You just cancelled yourself out. Not quite. I'm relying on the ingenuity and initiative of my operatives to devise a way in which we can have our cake and eat it. And when I say my operatives, that means you. Both of you. So why don't you go away and think about it? There it, the man. Thank you, Sam. So the camera's out there. You're planning to wipe your mum on the evening news, are you? This is Chief Superintendent Spikings. Who am I talking to? That doesn't matter. We've got guns, we've got hostages, and none of us has got anything to lose, all right? What do you want? I want a coach to an airport and a plane to take us out of the country. The hostages get released when and where we land. Finished? For now. Right. Take down this number. 540 -1492. Did you hear what I said? You've got two hours. My name is Spikings. I'll be in touch. What do you say? We get out of here, right? If we don't, we start popping heads. This staircase? Yes. Right, once from inside, we're down there. Through this corridor, we arrive at this door. Yeah. Right. Once we're in there, we're clear. Yes, that's the door. Thanks right. a lot. Okay, thank you. Okay. Found access on the roof. Watson, I figure we'll go in and try and surprise. Yeah. Watson? Yep. Can't be done, sir. Urgent call, sir. Minister of State, Home Office. That's all I need. What's Watson doing here, sir? Dempsey asked for him. Why? What's going on here, Dempsey? You say something, Sergeant? I said what's going on. Watson and I are going in. Why, Watson? Because this is up his alley, that's why. What do you take me for, Dempsey? Somebody who's fresh out of the hospital, that's who. If you need backup, I go with you. No way, no argument. May I remind you, Minister, that in these situations, standard policy is one of no surrender. Yes, sir, I do know who Martin is. Yes, sir, I know he's inside. Yes, I understand, sir, your words are very clear and precise. Let him go. That's what they want. If he rings again, tell him I've gone to lunch. Sir, 
that. I love this thing. It's medieval. <laughs> so, we on? Go. Sir, I request Denied. Permission. You stay on the ground with me. So you're trying to keep me out of the firing line, too? When we go in through the front, Sergeant, I think there'll be enough shooting to keep you occupied. I bet you've seen this sort of money lots of times, eh? Is it worth all this? Why, it beats being nobody. from the street. Never does. It's just that I got this thing about heights, you know. It's not my favorite thing. Bad time to tell me. Don't worry about it. It won't be a problem. Said I had this jumper once, you know, in New York. Yeah. He's just about to come down when he slips. 20 stories. I'll never forget his little legs pumping away, you know, like he was trying to run back up to the top. Well, that's gravity for you, huh? Real mess. You, uh... <clears throat> Wanna go first? Yeah, sure. Take up positions. Inside, moving down to the first floor now. Radio. Dempsey, come in. Yeah. Hudson's been hit. I'll lower him down the side. Right. We'll organize an ambulance. I tried to take us. What you done? I talked to him. God, you had to do that. They're treating us like filth, man. There's no coach. They're laughing at us. We're just scum. That's all scum. Yes? Now you know we ain't messing around in here. Now I know. So no more SAS stuff! Right. Is he dead? No. All right, come on. Right. Now listen. 
Get that coach here. Fast! Look, it's coming, Levy. Right, it's coming. We're nowhere until we start popping heads. I don't know how much further I can push this. So what went wrong? Well, I'd say that uh, Watson looked the wrong way at the wrong time. Other than that, he is more than that. I'm not saying a word. Wait here and switch off your engine. My orders were to take it up to the bank, sir. Direct from home office. Name? Sergeant Dove, sir. Well, Dove, your instructions are to wait here and switch off your engine. Sir. Street? Bank. And what's this? That's an underground river. It's incorporated into the drainage system, comes out in a manhole in the basement of the bank. How many men do you need? Two people. Think you can handle it? Of course. Okay. You and Makepeace. It's your ball game. Time's up. I'll make the decisions here. You made the decisions. Now I'm in charge. Open the doors. going. Keep going. Fifteen minutes to get those animals, dead or alive. I don't care.
know so much about underground rivers? Oh, I was really good at geology. Now, how are you with zoology? Why do you ask? Oh. Oh, I used to dissect those when I was 13. Oh, I just hope we don't run into anything bigger. Yes, sir. Yes, I understand you perfectly, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I have tried to locate it. Yes, sir. No, I haven't seen him in some time, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I will as soon as he returns, sir. It's all clear. her heart. Can't you see she's seriously ill? Seriously? You'll be seriously dead, Rockefeller. Instead, let her go. Look, she needs a doctor, so just let me take her place. Make peace. Think about it. I've got friends out there. They're not going to take any risks with me, okay? Makes sense, yes? Okay, come on. Come, hand her over. Come on. Come on. No, you come here. Okay. And the girl? No, the kid stays here. Oh, no, no, it's all right. It's all right. swapped herself for the woman. So now we've got someone inside and we've got the sick woman out. It was a stupid thing to do. She did it to prove a point. Because of you.
You, Rockefeller, stand up. <laughs> Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. What's it feel like being a nobody? I thought so. You got more money here than there is in a bank. Don't move, Maxine. Mr. Martin. Please know you're in here. I'll only start to worry if they find out I'm here. They won't. They will if they take a good look inside my wallet. Checking the roof. He's out of contact at the moment, sir. Yes. Yes, I'll tell him so. Yes, sir. He said to I know what he said. You gotta let him out of there. If I do, we'll be faced with a, a tidal wave of hostage situations. Every small-time terrorist in the world will think we're a soft touch. And if you don't, they'll kill her. It's all gone wrong, Ramsey. You said it was easy. You said it was going to be easy. Dead easy. You said it was easy. Levy. Come on. Shut up! Levy. Your turn, copper. Bus. Where's that bus? Get it up here! No! All right, you got your bus. See what you can do when you show you ain't gonna be messed about. Get him up! Right, come on, move, move! Let's go, let's go! Come on, to the door, to the door! Right, give me the money, give me the money. Right, come on, move it, move it! You've been in that bank this morning. I beg leave to differ with you. For us, I mean, you're our insurance now. No one's going to try anything while you're in the firing line, are they? Any gung ho stuff, Spikings, and your VIP here is dead. Your 
clear straight through to the airfield. This route goes to the airfield. We can get ahead of him by coming through here. Mm. Let's go. Where's Dempsey? Uh, car still here, Gov. What the hell is he up to? this one through. What the hell do you think is going to happen when you get to the airport? They'll never let you get away with it. You just keep it shut, right?
Don't you think this is ever so slightly childish, Dempsey? My mother always wanted me to be a doctor. Yes, but I have left strict instructions for you not to be allowed in here. I know. Look what I had to go through to get in here. It was absolutely pathetic. Now, will you please go? Hey, come on. Take it easy. What are you getting so excited about? Just because I tend to... to have a relapse every time you visit me in hospital. Oh, come on. Get serious. I just wanted to come by and see how you're feeling. Well, I'm fine. Now, will you please go? All right. All right. I'm gone. Oh, yeah. I forgot. This is for you. It's real.